my name's Arlene and today we're going to be doing standard deviation which is part of the National 5 and GCSE curriculum. Now before I start I'm going to say a shout out to one of my students, Rosie, a very good student of mine and anyway <laughs> back to the current situation. What we're going to do is we're going to do standard deviation and standard deviation it's one of these things in maths that a lot of people think to themselves what's the point when are you going to ever use this in real life? Well the best way I would compare standard deviation is if you think if you're going to go out for something to eat. So if you imagine that you're in a, maybe you're in a different town and you can either go for a, you can go to a chain restaurant or you could try out the local Indian or Italian or Chinese restaurant. Now, the thing is that on average, you probably find that they, maybe the Italian or the Indian restaurant or the Chinese restaurant might be better quality. But the thing that's guaranteed with the chain is consistency. And when we talk about standard deviation, that's what basically standard deviation is. If you've got a low standard deviation, it's more consistent. So the chain restaurants probably have a lower standard deviation, but the mean score, the sort of rating that people would give it, might be a little bit lower than what some of the independent restaurants would be. So with that in mind, I'm going to come on to one of these questions here. And this is a very typical example of what you could expect to get in a National 5 or GCSE question. So we're asked to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So the mean and the standard deviation of the following class test results. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is add them all together. Okay. And when I add them all together, I get 132. And I want to know the number of numbers there are. And all together, there's six. So I'm going to write mean here. And standard deviation here. I'm going to just call it SD for short, because that's a bit easier. So in the mean bit, I'll write 132. I'll also write 132 here. So in the mean, to work out the mean, all I need to do is divide it by the n, the number of numbers. So 132 divided by 6 gives me 22. What I'm going to do with the standard deviation here, in this part, is I'm going to square that, which is... And this is also, this makes up this part here. So you kind of kill two birds with one stone. If you take that number there, you write it here and here, because you're going to use it for both of them. And the other thing we need to do is square each number and add them all together. Now, don't worry, that might sound long-winded, but you can actually do it in one line in your calculator. So it's basically 24 squared, add 18 squared, Add 30 squared, add 21 squared, add 12 squared, add 27 squared. And when I do that, I get 3114. And this part is the first part there. So that's this one. So just recap on what I've done there. I added all the numbers together. I wrote that under the mean. I just divided it by the number of numbers to work out what the mean was. The numbers that were added together, I also wrote them in here under the standard deviation. I squared that number and that makes up this part here, which is the second part in the formula. In this part, we just uh, squared each number and added them together. So what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to apply this into the actual formula here to get the standard deviation. So this part here is that number. Take away. So this is this part here. And that's going to put it over N. And N we know is just 6. And on the bottom, we have to do n minus 1, which is just going to be 5. 
Now you can work this out, you can actually put this on the calculator in a one -er as well, or you can do it individually and then get your answer at the end. But when we get this answer in the calculator, it comes out as 6.48. So that is the standard deviation. So our mean was 22 and our standard deviation is 6.48. Now I'm going to move on now to what would usually be the second part of this question where you have to make a comparison. Okay, now this part here is normally the second part of these questions where it then gives you the score, the mean and the standard deviation of another set and you've got to make two comparisons. So what we took from the first part there was that the, the class on average, so the mean score I'll just write this down. The mean score was 22. So the mean was 22. And the standard deviation was 6.48. So just to recap, the mean score is like the average score. The standard deviation is about how far, how consistent they are or how far apart they are. What we're told here is that another class had a mean score of 25 and a standard deviation of 7.9. And we have to make two valid comparisons. Now, how to always start these questions is with the words on average. Now, what you have to think is which class on average scored better? Well, the class that scored on average better was the second class. So we will said another class, we'll just say the second class. So on average, um, the second class... scored better, because they got 25 and they got 22, they scored better than the first and the next word you're always going to write is either and or but. So what we have to look at is the standard deviation. So this class, this um, test results has got a standard deviation of 7.9 and this one's got a standard deviation of 6.48. If it's a lower standard deviation, it's more consistent. If it's a higher standard deviation, it's less consistent. So on average, the second class, although they scored better, they actually, they were less consistent because the standard deviation was higher. So on average, the second class scored better, which is this, than the first one, but, They were less consistent. So they got that, they got the standard deviation as opposed to this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another example of this second part here. Okay. So this is the same as the, the second part of the question that we've done, but you could get this question in isolation. So we're told here that rugby union points scored over the first five games in each season. So we've got here last season what the mean was and the standard deviation. And this season we've got what the mean is and what the standard deviation was. So what we're thinking about is what we just talked about, that you know if the mean's higher, then that means one's better. But if the standard deviation is higher, it means it's less consistent. If a standard deviation is lower, then there's more consistency. So we're asked to make two valid comparisons. So once again, start the sentence with on average. So on average, I would say this season, because the number here is higher, this season, team done better or the team scored more now what we then need to think the next word you're going to use is either going to be and or but so we have to look at the standard deviation and 
Last season there was a higher standard deviation, this season there's actually a lower standard deviation. So that actually means that this season they're more consistent. So on average, this season the team scored more and they were more consistent. So they scored more because this number's higher, but they were more consistent because this number's lower. Um, this is like the ideal situation, you know, on average doing better and being more consistent. Quite often the questions you might have it where that one's doing better, but there's less consistency. So basically this here would get you two marks in the National 5 exam. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. My name's Arlene, Tutor Lean. Please like, please subscribe, please suggest more maths videos that you'd like to see in this channel. Thanks again. Bye.